Hello everybody, welcome to the World Championships official replay cast. First round match, Group G, between Rio Bravo and his Dark Elves and D.I.V. S.P. with his Skaven. Um, the two coaches, we've got Rio Bravo is Ukrainian and he qualified through the Trident Bowl 4, Road to Fame. There you go. And D.I.V. S.P. is unsurprisingly Spanish and he qualified via the Copa PDM. So there we go. Um, Rio Bravo has three dodge blitzers, a rookie blitzer, leader runner, block and a wrestle witch. So pretty standard build. 11 players. The leader gives him three rerolls and an apple. The IVSP has the usual Skaven build. He's not got leader on the throw. That's the one that he's dropped. He's gone tackle on the blitzer, guard. And then the usual four for the gutter runners, which is wrestle, block, strip ball, and sidestep. So yeah, this is a, I, I didn't really know much about this matchup. This is a very good matchup for the Dark Elves, according to Sol. And uh, after playing him in our best of 17 series, I did, I did actually agree with him. It did seem very difficult for the Skaven. Now, of course, the Skaven can just score a one turn as well. So, um, you know, they've got that going for them, but yeah, Dark Elves are a pretty good team, uh, to be honest. They're, they're quietly good, aren't they? Like, Wood Elves are just obviously brokenly overpowered in certain ways, whereas Dark Elves are a bit sneaky. They're just, they've just got, they're just Elves with armor rate, and they're not that fast, and... You know, they're not just like, they don't scream broken like war dancers do, do they? That's, that's the thing with Dark Elves. But having a lot of dodge is really good if you, you know, if the dodge works. <laughs> if the dodge works, then Dark Elves are pretty good. So there we go, just block the LOS. Didn't really like the Wrestle Blitz there at all, but never mind. I mean, Block would have got knocked down. I don't know what he was thinking with Blitzing with the Wrestle, to be honest. Doesn't have the mighty blow for the, the safe bang blitz, right? Like, Olivier Dulac takes a mighty blow blitzer, which I do think is better. So, a bit worried about the strip ball. Um. Going for a very, very, very big cage here. Don't like that angle, right? Because if he'd blitzed from here and got the pow, he could have kept it on this player and base. But of course, if you just remove them, then it doesn't matter what angle you blitz them from. So, so fair enough. <laughs> Tackle comes in. Tackle doesn't do anything. Rolls a full pow. Oh, rat feels a dodge removed. So two rats down. This is looking really good for Rio Bravo. Just has to keep up the pressure. Blocking things. Basing linemen, right? Lyman can't easily hit you, like we saw the dodge out. Wants to be blitzing with the block, Witch Elf. <laughs> there we go. So like a, a normal cage like this isn't like quite as good as you'd want and he is screening he's actually screening the cage right so that the rat ogre can't come in and base the ball i do like that i feel like putting a bit of pressure on the lima would have been better but um it's fair enough just making sure that rat ogre can't get on you rats are screening very deep here 
wonderful free movement forward here. Running away from the Roger so he doesn't kill anybody of his own team. Because, you know, animal savagery isn't very good. <laughs> as much as some people seem to think it's an amazing, uh, amazingly strong nega trait, it's not. It's very bad, <laughs> in my opinion. So we're surely going to three dice this gutter runner. Um, could have gone a little bit further forward than he did. But again, I think he really doesn't want to get touched by the rat ogre, does he? That's what he's preoccupied with. Making sure this rat ogre can't base the ball. Base the ball. Okay, we're going for another three dice into three dice blitz with uh, risking losing the action. So the thing about animal savagery is 15 that turns out of 16, it's pretty rubbish. But when you try the one turn, it's great having it for the one turn, to be fair. Guarantees that he activates and he gets a three dice frenzy blitz with Juggernaut. So, you know, he is fantastic for the one turn of that ogre. But, uh, most turns, a bit rubbish. Really had to fully sandwich this guy, I think. But that's okay, he's, he's, he's not gone relevant. He should have gone back, right? One, two, three, four, rush, rush. I think it was worth rushing there. Going here, he's just not doing anything, he's just walking past him. I mean, I love playing against one, yes, Demi. Um, but if somebody forced me to play Skaven, I would hate it for 15 turns of the game and then love it the turn it wins me the match. So that's. Uh, oh, he's not getting forward, is he? I, re I, really, like, I really like getting forward, honestly. Uh, seems allergic to getting forward here. Like, at least get in range. Like, I know you're not going to score before turn 8, but just getting forward is good. UA League. Well, I I mean, I, I did say at the start of the game what it was from. He, he was qualified from Trident Bowl 4, Road to Fame. That's how he qualified. Um, so he's also champion of UA League. There you go. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why does your brain go there, Dimmy? <laughs> Skaven do have the best, yeah, Skaven have got the best cheerleaders. Um, great decision from the Skaven coach there. It keeps, keeps making these three dice blitzers. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, as the Dark Elves, you're quite happy that they're all on a rubbish blitz, a uh, rubbish lineman, right? You, yeah, there's more likely to knock over than a blitzer, but look how good they're. Look how good the uh, Skaven cheerleaders are. Now we've got undead ones for the Dark Elves. Okay. Uh, the colours clashed here, like they were both dark red, so use the feature to have red and blue colours. He really doesn't like this strip, but this wrestle gutter, does he? I mean, I don't know why I said strip ball. It is the wrestle one. Makes sense, right? Because you don't want to, you don't want to get wrestled when you blitz him. So it makes sense to expose the wrestle gutter all the time. But um, if you have to expose a gutter, obviously you'd rather not expose any gutter. Um, I've got no idea. There is a there is a there is a link um, to all of the games that you can see. Did I not pin it? Somebody could pin the link to the uh, post and pin the link, please. Would be great for the, all the games tonight. I don't think he is. I'm not sure. And to a blodger. Yeah, it's really weird that he hasn't got a dodge player, isn't it? I mean, I would have just picked up on a dodge player, a blodge player. It seems weird to not be carrying on a blodge player. Like, I guess if you get stripped, you get stripped. And if you get wrestled, you get wrestled. But I still want it on a blodger. 
Ah, that's just the streaming. That's the stream schedule. But there is also the actual all the matches, right? The matches is a different. It's a different thing. There's two links. One is for the stream schedule, and one is for the games, because a lot of the games, you know, two games will be on at the same time, etc., etc. So all this half, he wasn't really getting as far forward as he could, and then the Skaven have let a big gap either side, and now he's got really far forward, and he's in a great position on turn seven. Absolute multiple layered cage, no chance at all of the Skaven getting in realistically here. And uh, makes you wonder what the Skaven were up to. <laughs> because they didn't really put any pressure on and didn't do kind of anything there. Um, yeah, that's the one. Thank you, Talakis. Yeah, that's thanks, thanks for both of them. Yeah, so one's the, one's the stream schedule and one's the uh, other one, yeah. And didn't actually put another player in front. I can't believe... Actually, do you know what's really weird? After saying that... After saying that... This Witch Elf isn't there. Then he did a rush that failed. Two rushes. So, like... He was given... A free defence, right? The, the, the Witch Elf could have been here, and the Blitzer could have been here. And it was fully double screened. And instead the Rauga could blitz in and put a tail on the ball. I guess he's just going to walk in and put a tail on the ball. But like how you, how you uh, let, a, let a tail get put on the ball from that position is very strange. And he didn't put anyone next to him to make him move. So there isn't a tail on the ball after all. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, yeah that was... That was, uh... I mean, I think it was... I think it was definitely worse from the Skaven side. And I'm not saying it was easy for them, but... That was just... was basically not a defence, right? It was just three dicing with a roger and not really doing anything else. Not even defending the side. 6 dice, gets a pal. Little bit of a dance. Well done Rio Bravo. Um, so now D.I.V, can he get the one turn? How will Rio Bravo set up against the one turn? I'm imagining not well enough, and yes, this is not well This is a very, 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 very bad setup against the one turn. So, for, you know, for normal people, <laughs> this is all right, right? For normal teams like humans, um, pro elves maybe, but versus Skaven that have a sidestepper and a juggernaut rat ogre, this setup is really really bad because this guy gets blitzed and the sidestepper gets pushed and doesn't have to make any dodges so the uh the back line is way better than this setup versus this team so um the ivy does have two rerolls so pretty likely to get the one turn here no he's not he's not doing it how i do it Yes, it was three three Ds and no dodges, but he's doing this instead, which I am not a fan of. Also, he could have used the quick snap doing it that way as well, so. Okay, so we're doing more pushes and yeah, this using the whole method. And he pals. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah, this was... This was bad. I'm sorry. Bad for the World Cup, right? Bad for the World Cup. The, everybody playing Skaven at the World Cup should be really good at 
sidestep, juggernaut, rattle, go one turns. Now I'm not, you know, I wouldn't be saying that was really bad if it was, you know, a, a guy in his local league or whatever. But if you're playing the World Championship, you've got you've you've chosen Skaven, you've got Juggernaut on your Rat Ogre, you've got Sidestep on your Gutter Runner. They're both for the one turn. Like you've literally dedicated two picks for the one turn. Um, so you know I've got a little bit of paper saying say why something's bad, and that that was that was a really easy one turn. That was two three. That was three three dice blocks to get the guy into range with no dodges it was really easy and with quick snap would have made it even easier um yeah exactly see it was it would have been a single three dice block to get in the range it would have been that was basically a nailed on one turn uh, that was so, such a high chance it was unbelievable it was definitely not 50 percent surveillance it was really that was really likely to succeed that one turn if it had been done properly um so yeah yeah there's no way to sugarcoat it, you know, like that was, that was, uh, that was definitely a mistake. Uh, tell you what though, that was incredible getting Mighty Blow on his Tackle Blitzer there, the uh, Fence of the Prayers of Nuffle, very lucky getting a Mighty Blow. I guess that, honestly, that's the biggest thing, the biggest uh, argument for Tackle on a player in, in NAF style is if you get the if you get the knuckle dusters pred nuffle so you can give it to the tackle guy. <laughs> but uh I'm not really a fan of the tackle normally. This is quite good, isn't it? You can just defend the center here. And the scape not gonna have to do something to get past you and score. Uses the apple there to keep the lineman on. Tackle. It's funny, isn't it? So, so Dimmy is a tabletop player. Now, of course, in tabletop, it's different because on tabletop, Amazons exist and are one of, if not the best team. And for a long time, Underworld existed and were the best team. So, there's certainly a big meta game shift there in tabletop tournaments. I mean, a stunty star caddy team. You don't care about the stunties, do you? You care about you care about Varag or whatever, or Hathark. But not Zarg, because Zarg will luckily be that the Zarg menace will be banned from Europe also. Oh. Everyone can be happy about that. Here we go, Blitz with a Roger. Keeps him based up on somebody. We'll have to move in to defend him a little bit. Doesn't defend the Roger a bit, so... Might just bang the Roger here. I wouldn't hate it. No, nope, no, nope, we're just going for the gutter runner. Instant full pow. On base the ball. Oh, okay. We've got a pro elf coach on the scene. <laughs> they do love basing the ball every turn, don't they, pro elf coaches? Oh, fails his dodge off. So Mighty Blow Tackle comes straight in. Uh, thanks for the assist, he says, and uh, gets the knockdown. Thanks to Tackle. <laughs> but yeah, a lot different on Tabletop. With Tabletop, Amazon's being the best team. Makes things different. Pretty weird, isn't it? Pretty weird that like the best team doesn't exist on Blood Bowl 3 for this kind of environment. 
doesn't kill his own player, only stuns him. No. So we could we could surf a gutter runner here. But it takes a little bit of work. Only a little bit. Um, but we're not going to bother. We're going to defend. <laughs> defend the touchdown instead. What a, what a strange decision. <laughs> I think it is turn 12. It's late enough that you, you, know, you do ignore the surf there and just, just go for playing properly. Yeah, the rogue was three dice blitzing every single turn, wasn't it? And did nothing. Oh, puts in a reroll there. The rats struggling to get through. So, you know, the the move over there was obvious, right? That was a bit of an overcommit. But, I mean, it's not really like it was it was a correct commit because it, any less he would have probably punched through. So he stopped him punching through there. Makes him move laterally. That's okay. Can try and blitz this guy if he wants or uh, leave him. Yep, he does leave him as a scoring threat. Maybe he could have put the uh, Witch Elf on him, right? So you'd have four dice if uh, if he didn't dodge away. Because some, something could fail the rest of the turn. Oh, we're going to Rogue a Blitz. No, we're not. Not yet, at least. Oh, it was a rogue move, so he'll he'll quite happily knock this guy over. Oh, wait! He's got a mighty blow tackler here, and he has a skillless ball carrier here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing that was like a misclick, right? I'm guessing that was a misclick. <laughs> and this was meant to be a cage corner or something, right? And he was gonna he was gonna cage behind the rat ogre. That makes some sense because you know, why would you be blitzing a blodger without mighty blow tackle? There is a 4 plus in here to 1D the ball if he wants it. Still a 4 plus to 1D the ball if he wants it. Does not go for it. Knocks down a gutter instead. You can see a lot of contact here, looks like it. I feel like contact is the more, you know, the better player versus Skaven. You know, the lineman can't dodge very well. So if you put them under pressure, then they've only got their gutters free. And while sometimes the gutters can do everything themselves, at least making them do everything themselves is pretty good. The problem here is it's so late in the half, turn 15. Oh, wow. Well, there you go, Snake Eyes. It's so late in the game that it made it a li maybe it was a bit too late to go in pressure-wise, right? Maybe he should have just carried on screening for another another turn or two. Oh my goodness! 
<laughs> well, now it's looking really, really, really good, isn't it, for the Delves? No, pushes him in, pushes him clear though by pushing him. <laughs> there was an argument for not punching him at all, right? <laughs> to keep him absolutely in front and then try to engineer him the ball somehow. But. Oh, just gonna foul him. Yeah, okay, that's fair enough. Yeah, knock him down and foul him. And this, this isn't in range, is it? Got to chain him two squares, so we could with a rat ogre, with like millions of millions of fill-ins, he could rat ogre blitz and chain him in. Well, not even that many, because he could just put, push him the first one and then ogre blitz. So yeah, not even that many fill-ins. Oh man, let's go! So he was he was going for it. He was he was going for it if he filled in there as well, and then he can punch with him. And then blitz him and push him one, then two. So there you go, Rio Bravo. Of course, he was one nil up, so he didn't have to go too hard on defense to try and get the turnover or anything. I just had to. Uh, just had to defend, but um, D.I.V. yeah, D.I.V. had to do better on the one turn there. Had to. This is all irrelevant now, right? Because it was it was D.I.V.'s drive, so just wasting time. It's fair enough, right? It's the World Cup, you know. Enjoying yourself is fine, isn't it? So uh, yeah, congratulations, Rio Bravo gets the win. Dark Elves versus Skaven. It is tough for Skaven, can confirm. So yeah, commiserations to Ivy. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.